sometime in the mid or towards the third quarter of this year. And uh, the fact that we have applied and there's absolutely no response puts us in a very precarious situation. I mean, there are preparations to be made. Uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, uh, things to do. Uh, and the question is, you know, how do we move ahead? When we have an application which is pending, there's no answer, there's no yes, there's no no. So I think this is something that is not uh, acceptable. You see, we have the Societies Act and of course we have the ROS. So when an application has to be made, uh, the law provides that we have to apply to them. So it is my view that where the law uh, requires you to apply to a certain person, there's also the reciprocal, reciprocal uh, duty on, on part of that person to respond. Tak masuk akal kalau kita ini diperlukan melalui undang-undang untuk membuat permohonan kepada seseorang itu, tapi seseorang itu boleh mendiamkan diri saja. That means that uh, they are not carrying out the uh, uh, what they call duty. They at least respond. I mean, if you can, if, if there is, if, if it's approved, tell us. If it's not, tell us. Why tell us? At least let us be in a position where we can deal with it, and at least we can move forward. So I hope uh, that we get an early hearing date. Uh, we will apply, uh, we will file a certificate of urgency. We will ask for an early date uh, for hearing. And uh, of course, uh, we let the court decide on uh, the merits and strength of our application. Yeah? On, a, on a practical level, how does it affect the to not be registered as a person because we've done it before and the Pakatan Rakyat? No, uh, I think just to get, just to correct you there, uh, we had the same problem with Pakatan Rakyat. Uh, we applied for registration, but uh, we never got any response insofar as that application is concerned as well. I mean, so I think we confirm that. Uh, so, but uh, to answer your question, uh, we are currently uh, facing a general election and I think that is something which is very important uh, because for purposes, for purposes of preparation, we have to decide whether we're going to move ahead as a coalition with one, uh, under one logo and one symbol. Uh, so it, it affects our campaign uh, and of course it affects preparations for that campaign. So I think at this point in time, uh, we need an answer because we need to know what it is we have to do. I mean, if we have to fall back on other strategies, uh, or the plan B, so to speak, then let us know, at least we can make the necessary uh, preparation for that. But if there is no response, then we are just moving, uh, what you call, endlessly uh, uh, without any direction. And I think that's the problem. But we don't want there to be a situation where one day before the election, then we are given a response. Uh, then how do you make preparations? So I think it's, it's very unfair to us. And so far as we are concerned, we are, we are political parties, all of which, uh, to me, are legitimate. Uh, uh, what what is the problem with registering us as a coalition? You know, at the end of the day, kita pihak semua kita sama, kita semua ni legitimate. Kita semua dapat permohonan telah pun terima. We sued for elections before, of course, at the exception of Persatu now, which is just one us. So as I said earlier, uh, it's really a question of uh, give us an answer. You know, uh, whichever way it goes, at least uh, uh, you know let us uh, deal with that and move forward. Ada tempo tak masa tu juga RS yang boleh apply kepada Dalam undang-undang tidak ada tempo. Tetapi kepada saya bila tidak ada tempo maknanya kita kena buat uh, satu keputusan atau tindakan dalam masa yang terdekat. Uh, masa untuk mereka respon. Tetapi mereka tak respon dan masa itu telah pun uh, lalu. Jadi dalam keadaan tersebut dalam surat itu kita telah pun beritahu dan maklumkan kalau tidak ada respon kita akan ambil tindakan seterusnya tanpa rujukan lagi. That is in other words. We have given them all the time that we think is fair, they have not responded, so we are now in court and it's for them now to respond in court and they are of course bound by the time limits uh, that uh, are provided for in law uh, in terms of resisting this application.